Hi friends, Right Careers welcomes you to another brand new video for this week. Uh, this is Yes Sudarshan, your career coach. Now, are you an animal lover or bird lover and you also possess some kind of aptitude towards scientific research and understanding of science along with loving animals, birds and creatures that are near you, then this career might definitely interest you. Yes, the topic that we have chosen for this week is veterinary, veterinary sciences as a career option. Right now, veterinary sciences or rather veterinary doctors, we fondly call, has come a long, long way. In fact, it has evolved a long, long way because when I was a child, uh, we used to call in Tamil uh, this profession as Mart Doctor, right? That's how the profession was used to be called for starters who doesn't understand Tamil. Uh, generally, it, it relates to doctors who treat cattle, especially uh, cows and buffaloes. That's how the profession was termed. But now it has come a long, long way from being a Mart Doctor to somebody like a doctor who, uh, you know, uh, some, something like animals stem cell engineering or aquatic biology or animal biochemistry, animals microbiology, animal cloning, etc. etc. So these are some of the new age terms that has come into this profession also as similar to some other profession that we can always see. Right. So we will see what are those. And uh, and before we see, you know, how do, how do you study uh, veterinary sciences, etc. etc. We will first see what does a veterinary veterinary doctor do that's something which we have to uh, see the first thing the primary primary role of a veterinary doctor is to provide treatment for animals now any treatment for any kind of animals that's what they are supposed to do uh, there are different types of veterinarians you will find in the society some work with small animals pets etc some work with large animals wildlife animals horses etc etc so even though you know as a veterinary, veterinary student, you uh, get to learn about treating all the animals. People usually specialize, you know, you quite often come across, you know, doctors who only treat pets, for example, dogs or cats, some doctors who only treat wild animals. So they usually specialize among themselves. But from the academic perspective, you study all you study treating all the animals. Now, what do they do? They diagnose the disease, just like the normal doctor who diagnoses any disease for human beings veterinary doctor diagnoses disease for animals and treat sick and injured animals that's what they're supposed to do they also conduct surgeries if required so not only that they also advise uh, owners owners are uh, someone who owns the pets they also ad address these owners on proper maintenance of their pets that's very important right preventive me mechanism etc etc and they also address on the vaccination they also take care of vaccination for these animals and pets so this is what usually veterinary doctors do now moving on what are the professional career opportunities that are there if you pursue this professional qualification there are numerous things it's not that you only uh, you know uh, work as doctor you can do multiple things we will see the first professional career opportunity that you can think of is in the form of a companion animal veterinarian as the name itself suggests com uh, these are doctors who work with companions companions are usually the pet animals that we usually you know uh, have in a, at our houses that includes dogs or cats or some birds or something like that. So these people treat or specialize only in treating the companion animals that we have. That's the first kind. The second kind of professional career opportunity for a veterinary doctor is definitely uh, equine veterinarian. As the name itself suggests, equine is horse. So there are professionals who work only with horses. Now, you know, horses are used for various purposes, multiple purposes. That includes, you know, military to trading to so on and so forth. So these doctors specialize only on that. Uh, the third kind of professional career opportunity that we can think of is in the form of food safety and inspection veterinarians. Now these professionals they inspect major animal diseases. You know, they they if if at all there is some kind of animal diseases that spreads, for example, via bats, it spread it spread it right some time back the the SARS or whatever it is. So these people are someone who detect that not only diagnose it but also inspect the food that you know that we undertake as a human beings and then you know advise against eating those foods in general they work on animal welfare but also work on work with people when it comes to eat the food eating habit or the or rather the diseases that spread via these animals or birds so that's a third kind of professional career opportunity the fourth kind of professional career opportunity that we can definitely think of is a veterinary dermatologist now similar to dermatologists for human beings you know uh, these professionals are uh, specialists in uh, you know diagnosing the dermatology related issues in animals 
they perform biopsies even culture tests at times and then you know diagnose the cause of disease and treat accordingly so these are some of the professional career opportunities for veterinary doctors now how do you become a veterinary doctor that's important right so this is a five and a half year program the course name is called bachelors in veterinary sciences it's a five to five and a half year program typically including an internship so you have you know bbsc we call it, bachelors in veterinary sciences general and then bbsc in animal genetics and breeding you can specialize in animal genetics and breeding you can also specialize in animal production and management uh, you can specialize in veterinary surgery and radiology so these are some of the specializations or sub specializations that's available for BBSc bachelor's in veterinary sciences now obviously in india if you have to study veterinary sciences you got to take neat and therefore the first qualification is to take biology group physics chemistry biology after 10th and then take neat qualify neat and then get into bbsc and now trust me this is relatively a easy way to get in, to become a doctor because mbbs you know the demand is quite high as far as bbsc is concerned the demand is low but the value is very much high now what do they study they study animal genetics they study breeding animal nutrition uh, poultry sciences veterinary uh, anatomy veterinary biochemistry veterinary microbiology clinical uh, medicines etc etc so these are some of the subjects that as a profession you study where to study uh, every state has a government college in the form of veterinary college tamil nadu has tanuvas t a n u v a s Uh, that has multiple location across multiple cities similarly indian veterinary research institute in bareilly and then you have one at bidar in karnataka west bengal has a veterinary college maharashtra has a veterinary college at nagpur anand agriculture university in gujarat so across the country every state will have veterinary colleges and some multiple branches you can pursue bbsc from these institutes and they are very good in terms of academia right and which industry recruits uh, rec- uh, you know professions from veterinary sciences definitely government recruits because government hospitals there are government veterinary hospitals where you can work for you can set up your own private clinic you know i know that you know for every consultation a doctor charges 2000 to 2500 rupees you know for every consultation so that's the kind of money that you can make when it comes to choosing this you know if you if you excel in this career you can also become an uh, you can work for private hospitals you will be hired in zoos zoological parks to take care of uh, the maintenance of animals uh, you will also be uh, recruited by poultry industry in poultry industry agriculture industry animal husbandry industry farms etc large farms etc etc so these are the places where you can work as always in our segment the pros and cons pros you save lives the only difference is you save animal lives so just like doctor saves human lives you save animal life and that's massive so that the kind of satisfaction that you get is phenomenal uh yeah the career path if you ask me the salary might not be very very uh, you know fat when you compare with the mbbs profession but when you grow up when you become experienced you get very very high salary as far as this profession is concerned now veterinary doctors have the flexibility to work in diverse environment which means you move to any other city you can be on your own so that flexibility is there you can the continuation in profession is definitely there some cons it's re- it's relatively a stressful profession because you need to work for long hours there is nothing called weekend you never know when an animal gets uh, injured or when an animal gets you know disease right so it has to be a 24 by 7 365 profession and you're also you might be exposed to some allergies uh, like uh, fur allergy radiation allergy pet dander allergy so on and so forth so you got to be very careful while treating with uh, treating the animals and not only that uh, you like the way mood swings happen for human beings animals also have lot of mood swings and while treating animals they could turn wild and you know anything could happen some kind of eventualities could also happen and that's slightly dangerous so that odd dog bite or cat bite is something which is always on the cards when you choose this profession but having said that if you have the passion as i right as i told you well in advance if you have the passion you know for treating animals and working with animals and pets this is a very good career option that you can consider as an alternate to medical profession in case you don't get to or if you have a stand alone interest go ahead and do that and until next week with all together another video see you all take care have a safe week thank you